It's that time of year that all college students love, spring break. My friends and I decided to go on a little girls trip this year and spoiler alert, I had an amazing time. But before I can show you all of that, I have to pack. It is very out of character for me to wait this last minute to pack, but I was in LA this last week and I only got back like three days ago and I've just had no time to do anything. So I'm starting my packing process less than 24 hours before I'm leaving to go on spring break, to go on my little girls trip and I am heading to the beautiful island Island of Puerto Rico. I hope you're not surprised by the destination because you should be following me on Instagram and if you are, you'd already know and you'd already see all the pictures from the trip. But before I could share all of that, we have to do the packing, so here we go. Before I do anything, I wanna make sure that all of us have our QR codes ready, all of our travel requirements are completed. To enter Puerto Rico, you have to be fully vaccinated in order to not have to get a COVID test, or if you're unvaccinated, you have to get a COVID test. I think it's 48 hours before. And then I read, if you fail to show a negative COVID test, you have to quarantine for seven days. All this information was just on the regular standard Puerto Rico travel website. I'll have it linked down below. So a couple days ago, my friends and I filled out the forms you had to submit your vaccination give all the information like where you're staying your flight number all of that and then if you got approved you got this qr code i was actually going to print them out but then i did a little bit more research and it said just to have it on your phone it's a lot easier i'm just double checking that everyone in my party has done it and with that i think we are all set everyone liked the message everyone has sent a qr code so we are good to go yay so at least i know when we get there there will be no issues next thing that has to get done packing given that i was just on a trip and i actually bought things for this trip on that trip i ended up not having to unpack for real for real like i just took out the clothes that i didn't need and then kept the clothes in that i'm planning to bring and then over the last couple days i've been grabbing things out my closet and kind of throwing them in the suitcase and then now i'm gonna try them on and go from there we're only staying for like what is it four nights five i think it's five nights six days i don't know we're going sunday to wednesday i have to double check there's like specific outfits that need to be worn on specific days you know with like excursions and stuff there's certain like protocols like sneakers pants or a hat like things like that i need more than enough bathing suits because we plan to be on the beach every single day and i just want to be more than prepared i don't want to have to buy anything while i'm there <laughs> the outfit selections that I made I of course have way too many bathing suits I just didn't feel like putting them on but I think I just about have everything ready a good mix of casual clothes but also a little more dressy clothes and I definitely will be able to dress things down or dress things up depending on what the vibe is for the night depending on what everyone else is wearing before I pack it all up though I wanted to tell you about my suitcase I have talked about this suitcase for the last year almost every single time I travel anytime I just see it I bring it up because I love it it's a base suitcase which is Shay Mitchell's luggage company and in this last year I have traveled more than I have I've ever traveled ever in my life and in this next coming months I oh my god am I gonna say it I will say it I'll tell you for the rest of the year I have one trip booked every single month so your girl does a lot of traveling which also means you should subscribe because I will be vlogging all of it and 99.9% .9 of my trips are all able to be carried with a carry-on so that's why I got the smaller one but I actually did recently purchase the bigger carry-on not carry-on the bigger checked bag I purchased that one because I'm going on a couple two week trips over the summer and I just wanted to be prepared but I got this about a year ago and I have to say it is one of the best purchases I've made I would much rather spend $200 one time when I'm 20 years old than have to be buying new suitcases every couple years like this is going to last me forever and ever and ever when I tell you I've traveled so much this past year this has probably gone back and forth on an airplane like 20 different times and it stays in such great condition and I do have little marks on it but that's just because I haven't cleaned it since my last trip but literally all you do is just like take a little washcloth and it comes right off we have a cute little that was louder than I thought. A cute little bag clip. Um, there's also locks on the sides. Just like all around, I love this bag and I always have to talk about it when I mention anything travel related. I also use base packing cubes. You'll see the company base is a huge theme in my travel routine. I just think they're so reliable. I know that I'm gonna be able to fit everything in them. The zippers don't break, they don't rip. I just need good quality things and that's why I splurge a little bit more on those things. But yes, I have to highlight base because they are one of my favorite travel brands. Actually, I'm just gonna say my favorite travel brand 
because I have tried other companies and just none of them hit like this and it matches my aesthetic perfectly so I love them. I've almost completed the packing and it's absolutely crazy how much can fit in these freaking packing bags. This is all of the clothes that I brought and then these are all of the bathing suits as well as like underwear and bras. So just so crazy, like it literally all fit in here and I was able to fit two beach towels, a whole tote bag, my socks, three different pairs of sandals. So if you have not been convinced yet to start packing with these packing cubes, I hope this is your sign. Really happy, but there's a couple things I wanna show you before I finish up packing. I picked up some really cute accessories for this trip and I have to show you them because I think these are gonna be like the standout shiners of like my pictures just the vibe I'm going for and like the aesthetic of the whole trip and I'm so freaking excited some of these things I've had for a couple months and then some of them I just recently bought and they came in the mail like yesterday so I am so freaking excited first things first I got this over the summer this is a scarf that could double as a shirt but also could be like a cute little head not like that a cute little headband oh oh my god this is so cute i also tried it on as a shirt i just tied it back like that really cute i also got this bucket hat i've had this since like september but like when i think of vacation when i think of the beach i think of bucket hats this hat i absolutely love I got it from H&M. Okay, it's not as cute as I promise you it does look. I have to style it the right way. But I got this hat from H&M back over the summer. And the last thing I got is this cute sun hat. Ooh, that I gotta fix. <laughs> but I'm so excited to wear this. Moving on to packing my toiletries. So I have my cosmetic bag here. I have some little travel bags, again, from base. I swear, literally everything is from them. I was not kidding. I have a travel size bug spray, my deodorant, all my little products, and I just have to put them into my little squeezy bottles. It's a little bit later. The sun has started to set, and I have to say, the sun has not started setting until like 6.36 the past couple days, and I'm so here for it. I've also pretty much finished up packing, but I wanted to share with you the books that I'm gonna be bringing on this trip. Books are such a huge part of all of my vacations. I always will associate the book with the destination or kind of remember like, oh, I read that book when I was here. I did this when I was here. So the main two books I'm bringing right here, I have had these for such a long time that I've been waiting to read them until I went on a tropical vacation. So the first one is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. It apparently is gonna take place somewhere tropical and like on a honeymoon, enemies to lovers, like just my vibe. I'll probably read this first. And then the second book is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I know nothing about this book. I don't understand the premise. I don't know what the trope is. I literally know nothing about it. I just know that it's very like beachy, summery, and I heard it was like a good warm weather read, so that's why I'm gonna bring it. But I'm most excited to read The Unhoneymooners. If for some chance I finish both these books, which I actually think I might finish them because depending how often we go to the beach, this will be the only source of entertainment for me. So I think I'm gonna finish them and that's why I'm gonna bring a third book. So I'm gonna be bringing The Authenticity Project by Claire Pooley. And this one takes place in New York City. So I'm gonna save this one until the end. And then only if I finish these, then this one will get picked up, but I don't really count on having to read this one. So those are the three books I'm bringing. I also have this book sleeve that I got on Amazon. And with that, I think that's everything that I need to do today. Normally I do clean before a trip, but given that I just got back a couple days ago, I really did not make a mess and I had cleaned before my LA trip. We're also not gonna be in PR for the entirety of spring break. I am gonna come back to DC and I'll have like three, four days before classes actually start. So like that's probably when I'll put away the laundry and then recuperate, re-get myself into some sort of schedule because even though I love traveling and I'm so incredibly thankful and just like amazed by all these opportunities that keep coming up for me to travel. You know, I love them all. I'm thankful, all of that. Don't get me wrong, but it has been pretty hard for me to come up with a schedule or kind of feel like I'm in a routine just because I'm always leaving. I'm always in and out. Since I got back in January, I had a trip January. I had one in February and now this is my March trip. And then like I said earlier, I have trips for every single month for the rest of the year. So I'm never gonna be able to quite get into a routine, but I wanna do it to the best of my ability and try as hard as I can. And I think that's just something that I'm figuring out. So I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night, enjoy, my last night alone obviously the rest of my nights with my friends are gonna be super fun but i very much enjoy my quiet time and maya time and just like sitting there and being still so i can't believe this time has i'm doing a lot of hand motions right now i can't believe 
The time has come to go on freaking spring break. That is crazy. Everyone is on the way to my house right now and we are gonna be leaving, but I have a little bit more to do. I just need to pack the carry-on that I'm gonna be bringing. This is a Dagny Dover bag. This originally was supposed to be like my school bag for this year, but I ended up gearing more towards like tote bags and like smaller things and like a big clunky backpack. So unintentionally, intentionally, this has become my travel backpack. And I have to put this under my travel essentials as well because I just feel like it holds so much. This is like my holy girl bag. I absolutely love it. Dagny Dover is a little bit of a more pricey brand and I apologize. I know that all of my like travel essentials have kind of been more expensive things but I promise you I trust these brands 100% and I think they're so reliable and like I've said a hundred times given that I'm traveling so often this year and hopefully for the rest of my life I need to have good things. You know I don't want to be in the airport and have to worry about like my backpack falling through or that there's going to be a rip on the shoulder and I also like to look cute in the airport. I like to be stylish. I normally always go for or a sweatsuit of some kind, matching sweats, matching top. I very rarely will be in like Mitch matches when I'm traveling. Today's sweatsuit is from the lounge house. I was actually gifted this by my mom. She gave it to me the last time I came home as like a little welcome home present and it's really cute. The sweatshirt says manifest and then down the leg we have all these angel numbers. So lounge house for the top and bottom, Adidas Ultra Boost on the shoes. I also always try to travel in sneakers just because they're more bulky to pack. I normally will just shove like the sandals in my bag and then try to be in like the clunkiest clothes that I have and I also typically will just wear home whatever I wore there so I really love this outfit I definitely will be getting airport picks bag is done being packed I just have to put my camera in this front spot we have the neck pillow suitcases over there and the ladies here can you believe this no, I'm I, really excited. I can't either. Like, I can't believe it's here. Delaney and I went to Hawaii last spring break. Yeah. And it's just like, we were so little back then. Yeah. And now I feel like we're older. And then I feel, I feel like next spring break we'll be like, oh my gosh, we were so that little back gonna then. gonna be like amazing. I Cause I know this trip's gonna be good too. I know, but all right. We are done packing and I'm just so excited. Woo! Yay, so that is gonna be the end of this. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. So it's never too long before there's a new video. Again, shameless self promo, go follow me on Instagram. I literally have already posted pictures from this trip. I've already shown you everything that we've done, probably posted stories and reels and just all the fun stuff. So if you wanna be more up to date, go follow me over there, but I will see you in my next video. It will be a full Puerto Rico travel vlog. We're a fun group. Oh like, yeah. You're gonna wanna see this. You're like. gonna wanna see it. And um, it's legal drinking age, it's like 18. I already said let's take a shot as soon as we get to the airport. Oh yeah. Well, so excited. Okay, we'll see you later, bye.